Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have an update from the Divine Masculine. We're going to find out how they're currently feeling about the Divine Feminine in the Twin Flame Collective. So let's get straight into this. Okay, so we got the Eighth of Cups, clarified by the Eighth of Pentacles, okay. Um, this Divine Masculine is very focused on a new beginning here with you. Actually, that's all they want. Um, it's like they're trying to figure out how to come back and start something new. They're realising that they're in love with you. They have so many feelings here for you. They're realising that this is divinely guided as well. Um, there's also, I'm getting an emphasis on the word value, okay? So they're definitely realising your value. Um, I mean, they look at you as the Queen of Cups, okay? Somebody that's very compassionate, caring, loving, okay? Also very intuitive, um... And the Queen of Cups is one of the most beautiful um, queens of the deck, okay? Of the queens, anyway. Um, so, they definitely find you very beautiful, like, in all aspects. Um, and they also feel like you're very stable as well, and they love this, okay? There's something very independent about you. You definitely tick all their boxes, right? Um... So it's like with the uh, Eight of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, it's like they are definitely determined to start a new beginning here with you. Um, there's very strong energy around it, okay? I'm hearing doubt, okay? They're having, having a lot of doubt um, in their mind at the moment about this connection. This person also knows they caused a lot of conflict in the past, okay? Um, they also feel like you're looking away from them. They also feel like that you have other opportunities coming into your life, like other options. Um, and they feel like that... They at least feel like there's somebody better than them in your life, okay? That can offer you something stable. And they feel like that you're looking away from them because of, like their toxic behaviour in the past, okay? Yeah, because this Divine Masculine that I'm picking up today, when it came to this connection coming into their life, it's like they, I don't know, there's like a strong denial, okay? They also could have really treated you, they, they could have done something that they can't really come back from. They also showed you somebody that is untrustworthy. Definitely untrustworthy, okay? Unloyal, okay? Um, I'm definitely getting that there could have been some type of like cheating or them trying to make you jealous or them just literally being a player in front of you and you realising that this person, it's like they're focused on the wrong thing here. I'm hearing chip, chipmunk, chipmunk, okay. Let me know if that resonates. Could be the movie. I do see this person coming forward with some type of communication, okay? They're definitely communicating. They're going to be communicating with you. The thing is, this person comes off as very fake, okay? Because they showed you this person that's not to be trusted, somebody that's a hardcore liar, somebody that sneaky vibe, okay? Somebody that's definitely not to be trusted. Now they're coming in with this, like, very romantic persona, the thing is, you're going to look at this as very fake, okay? Because they are coming in with this, like, sort of fakeness, okay? And I just need 444. It's, like, fake in the sense that you already know who they are and they're going to come in like they're some, you know, knight in shining armour, okay? 
like coming to save you or coming in their feelings now, okay? But you know who this person is. At least that's who they've shown you, right? Some type of... I mean, with the King of Swords revert, narcissistic behaviour could be there as well. Very selfish. I don't like that card. Um, revert, that's very narcissistic. Um, also very violent, okay? I'm hearing unfocused. So this person, um, they showed you somebody that was unfocused on, you know, commitment, okay? Love, okay? They're more focused on sexual things, it's like they're easily, they're easily led, okay, by that, if that makes sense, they could have some type of sexual addiction, you could be dealing with a Virgo, or a Pisces here, yeah, the person, that this, okay, so they showed you somebody that would a little bit self-centered, a little bit selfish, okay, and a little bit stubborn, okay, they were holding on to their feeling, pretending that they did not feel the way that they felt, they may have even done something here to cut this connection off, to cause this separation intentionally, um, because they thought they weren't ready to commit, and now they're realizing how they look to you, okay, and how they real. it's like they're realizing the connection now, but they also realize that you probably want nothing to do with this person because there's this sense of you, there's like this innocence to you, this pure energy to you, okay? Um, and it's like you do not settle for less, right? And this person definitely played a lot of games here. They were not focused on the right thing. And now this person wants to come back and literally be romantic with you, show this emotional side to them which you've never seen, um, and already I'm getting that you're looking at this person like this is fake, like this is so fake. But this person is in a really dark place at the moment. Like this separation, it's like they have no energy to do anything else, nothing's moving for them, they're really concentrated on you. I do get I'm hearing drinking addiction. This person could literally drink to numb the pain of this connection, but I do see this person out partying a lot, but also focused on you the whole time and realising they're not happy. Partying, um, having one night stands, okay? It's like this person's maturing because of this connection, but they also showed you somebody in the past that was untrustworthy, immature. They caused a lot of conflict. Just a moment. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so, yeah, I do see this person going out with their friend, trying to numb the pain. They could drink a lot or do something here to try to, like, numb this connection. But it's like they can't even enjoy themselves, okay, without wanting to communicate with you. And basically their focus is to reconcile with you, okay? They don't feel right without you. They feel like they have clearly made the wrong choice. I do see with this person, like, when you met them, um, they definitely could have been a lot more immature than what they are today. Um, I do see that they showed you somebody that was not trustworthy, playing a lot of games, okay? Um, somebody that may have just ghosted you out of nowhere as well, like, unreliable energy here as well. They were definitely not focused on the right thing. I keep hearing flexing. This person could be really focused on flexing. You know, maybe they buy expensive things, but they don't actually have the money. But it's like, they're not really focused on the future. I'm getting this person literally get paid or something, and they go through all their money um, trying to flex. And this doesn't make them... Ha this person's in their ego. They may not realise it or not. Like, they may not realise this, but they're in their ego. And this is literally what their downfall is. Um, this person may be trying to buy materialistic things, okay, to literally numb this connection. I don't know why I'm picking that up, but I'm getting that they're spending all their money. They definitely don't have a lot to offer compared to you, um, because they're showing up at the Page of Pentacles, but you're showing up at the Queen of Pentacles, okay? 
So they feel, feel like that you are definitely more focused on your future. This person is definitely watching you, but they don't show it, okay? It's like they watch you, and I do see there's this glow up from in this separation period, you've done something here that has made you more independent or that has made you more stable. And I am saying that that's because you are following your intuition now, okay? Some of you are on your soul's purpose, okay? Definitely following your intuition, which is opening up your heart, but also bringing in abundance, right, for you. Where this person has been more concentrated on egotistic things, okay? It's like they're... They have this idea that they want to have a lot of money and be really successful, but they literally don't do anything. Like, they just have that idea. Like, they don't... I'm getting this person... Maybe they work, like... Maybe they don't, they don't work. Maybe they're looking for work. So yeah, this Divine Masculine knows they clearly made the wrong choice. Um, there's a sense of them really missing you and wanting to approach you. They could have brought a third party situation into it and they just feel like that you are completely looking away from them. They definitely could have brought a third party situation into this, right, and walked away from this connection, maybe they tried to make you jealous. But the thing is, this person, okay, so they did something here where they clearly walked away from you, brought somebody else into the picture, and whoever this person was, it was, like, purely sexual-based, okay? So this could have been, like, a cheating situation. And the thing is, they didn't realise that you were going to see right through their game, but you, they could not play you. Like, you were seeing right through what they were doing, and you may have cut them off. You may have walked away from them, okay, because they were causing a lot of confusion um, in this connection, right? You could be dealing with a Cancer, you could be dealing with a Taurus here. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Leo as well. So this person clearly had made the wrong choice, okay? I don't really see this person actively in a third part party situation. I am getting there could have been some type of them making you jealous with somebody or cheating with somebody else, but I don't see them actively with this person right now. Um, for some of you, they have walked away from this situation if they were in a relationship. But I see them more partying, okay, trying to get over you, trying to numb the pain with different people, um, but nothing seems to be working. They feel like they've, like, locked themselves out of your energy, right, and there is no coming back, and they're stressing. They're stressing. Everything in their life is, like, falling apart as well, including their money, okay? Um, they're not very stable as well. It's like they're stuck at the moment um, because they've clearly made the wrong choice, went down the wrong path. And they're really focused at the moment on how to come. I mean, we have three aces, okay? We've got the three, uh, we've got the ace of cups, ace of pentacles, and the ace of swords in the same pile here. So there is this strong energy of them wanting to come forward, wanting to start something stable and loving here with you. But the thing is, if they feel like it's too late, sorry about the background noise. So they feel like it's too late, like they've missed this opportunity, like they had a chance here with you and they clearly made the wrong choice and went down the wrong direction and now they feel like it's a missed opportunity, woulda, shoulda, coulda, I'm hearing, okay, um, now this person's stuck on you, it's like they don't know how to get over, this person living in the past, continuously thinking about the good times that you guys spent together um, and they're also there pretending that they're happy wearing this fake smile, wearing this fake mask. When this is like literally eating them. It's eating them alive. They're stressed out. It's like they feel defeated here, right? This person made a strong choice here to try to do something to hurt you. They were not thinking, okay? 
they were not thinking. They also thought that you were this person. They're a manipulator. They thought that you wouldn't be able to, like, maybe you weren't going to find out about this. Or, but I am getting that this person went more in your face with it. Like, oh my god, look at my new person. You know what I mean? Like, they're amazing. Um, I am getting that they were more in your face with it than anything. Like, they weren't really trying to um, hide it. They were trying to, like, put it in your face for your reaction. But you've seen right through it. But they thought they could manipulate you, if that makes sense. Now they feel like they've done nothing but manipulate themselves because they have missed this opportunity and now they feel it's like because they were they were silly, okay? They were being stubborn, playing games. Instead of being truthful with their feelings, um, they were playing games because they thought that they couldn't commit at the time. This person was very immature when you met them. You could be dealing with a Capricorn here. This person is over oh wow it's like they're stuck in the past they cannot get over this okay this may be over um or they think it's over but it's like in their mind they are continuously going and reliving these memories with you if that makes sense Again, this person's really focused on reconciling here with you and fixing things. Um, they really want to heal, okay? I do see them communicating with you in very soon. Like, it's like they can't hold back from communicating. But they're recognising, in this separation, they're recognising their behaviour, how immature they were. This person, um, they definitely aren't focused on the future here. They're in this energy of you know, it's like they don't care about the future, they'll spend all their money, they will, um, it's just like they're living in the moment, okay, um, definitely very immature here. Nothing is moving for this person, and they're also realising they're not happy, okay? Um, no matter what they do, it's like they are overthinking, overthinking, overthinking about you, right? It's like everywhere they go, they're reminded of you. Um, spirit's really in their face about this connection, and they are healing, okay? They're definitely healing. They're definitely maturing. Things are definitely crashing, okay, around them, Um they feel like they're in this very stuck, stagnant place where nothing around them is moving. You are dealing with somebody that... Okay, it's like they've got this inflated ego. Okay, these two cards coming out reversed. Inflated ego, guys. Um... But I am getting this one, them in the past. They had this inflated ego. Um, and I'm getting that they may have tried to, I don't know, like flex on you or something or talk themselves up, okay? And now they're realizing your value, okay? It's like they have this inflated ego. It's like they look at themselves more successful than they really are. But now it's like they're really looking at their life and realizing that they haven't been focused on the future. They haven't been focused on commitment, okay? It's like they've been focused on right now. This person's easily led by temptation, okay? They also don't have the best influences around them. So their friend group definitely isn't the best. Their friend group their friend group definitely could have encouraged them from um, encouraged them to walk away from this connection because of it involved commitment. Um Definitely around toxic people here. I do see this beautiful new energy. I mean, 
all the eighth and tenth have come out here. Um, I do see this beautiful new energy coming in. Um, I do see you not expecting it. Um, this person's definitely re really working on themselves, evaluating their flaws and trying to work on them. Um, Spirit wants you to know not to worry, okay, because this is divinely guided. This is going to happen. If this reading is resonating for you, union is coming for you, okay? Um, also, communication is coming for you. Um, this person just has a lot. It's like they're going through this. They have an inflated ego and they're going through an ego death, okay? So a lot of conflict ha happening for them, but they're learning a lot of lessons. So this union can come in, okay? That's all they want, right? That's literally all they want. The thing is, there's something about them wanting to live up to you. I don't know why I keep hearing they want to live up to you. I'm not even really that sure. Maybe um, because they feel like you're really independent and they also want to be in that energy. Okay, this person wants to like raise their vibration, raise them, just basically become a better person so they can match your energy, right? And this union is coming for this connection, okay? When, I don't know, but this person is working on an ego death. So that's all I have for you guys. I really hope this resonated. If it did, please let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.